morning, man. Oh my god. You got it. Oh, wow, look at this. We thought we'd uh, lay them out for you. That's pretty epic. I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty epic. Look at that. Wow. Good colours. Yeah, yeah. I just say, keep saying wow, because they look <laughs> great, don't they? They look wicked. I can't keep saying enough for you guys. I can't like you legends. Wouldn't happen without you guys. <laughs> Everybody, Pete here. I'm here to tell you some specs on the new DPT UK edition. It's a swamp ass body, so they are light. You've got a beautiful flamey maple neck on here. I mean, this one in particular is stunning. And uh, you've got a dark rosewood board with dots inlaid. So the frets on here are 6105 nickel frets. Um, I personally prefer nickel frets to stainless steel frets. I've got a very light touch. Uh, and I like the way that nickel frets feel under my fingers. Uh, there's a little bit of sort of just something extra about it that I prefer. It's a nitro finish. You've got a white base coat under here and you've got this, in this case, you've got a beautiful sort of uh, grove, we call it grove green. So it's like a dark olive drab kind of green on it here. It's aged a little bit, so you've got some cracking in here. You've got a few dings and dongs like you've been played. I would call it a player's finishing. You've got aged nickel hardware. It's a Wilkinson Goto bridge with the WT3 saddles here. I really enjoy them because they feel really nice under your arm, under your hand here when you're playing. You've got Wilkinson button tuners, white button tuners. And then of course you've got a bone knot. Uh, pickups is a set of Monty's DP51s in here uh, with three-way selector switch, volume and tone, super simple. Now let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> So what sets this apart from other T-style guitars that are out there? Well, first and foremost, I think the neck is um, was a super important thing. I asked the, the, the guys at Chapman to get as close as possible to my Purple Telecaster. So we 3D scanned it, and this is the neck profile of that guitar. And it was it's essentially trying to recreate the mythical beast that is the Purple Telecaster. So, you know you guys out there could, could get a hold of something that would play, feel like it, and, and this absolutely does. Satin finish neck here, feels great, and the, it's, it's, it is like, close your eyes, and there you are, so that's perfect. Other than that, you've got some, some personalized um, calves in it. You've got a nice little arm calf here. Uh, I've always loved that arm calf that comes off an, an SG, um, and that was sort of a little nod to that. And also, if you're sitting down, it's really nice to have something you can lean your hand on here. The telecasters tend to be quite hard if you're playing a long time. You've got the, uh, the belly calf here for the, uh, you know, sort of a bit more aged type person like me, for instance. Be really nice and comfortable. And you've got the little Chapman calf in, in, the, uh, in the lower horn here, which, is, um, which just sets it all off. All of these calves here sets off the guitar really nicely. And we went with a four bolt neck uh, joint on this guitar. That's a new thing for Chapman as well, because I believe uh, that the way that this is the plate sits on the body, screws into the neck. The neck, there's much more surface that the neck can uh, attach itself to and the resonance can be better, but you know, uh, that's, that's my beliefs anyway. I've always looked at like uh, guitars like the Mustang and stuff and I looked at the tuners and I've always really liked this ivory kind of look to the guitar. It really, this is something about it I really think is cool. And um, the scratch plate was uh, sort of, I asked my daughters, I gave them some, some T-shaped style print out and I said, can you draw some scratch plates? And my middle uh, daughter, Gertie Boo, uh, drew some stuff and we ended up with this thing here. And I think it's really, really fits in really nicely with, with, the, with everything on the guitar. And then the pickups are a set of Montes as well as we mentioned already. 
I just wanted something a little bit different for the neck pickup. So it's essentially just the, the normal DP51 neck pickup, um, but it's we taken the, the top of it off, so it shows the poles in there, and it just sets the guitar up really nicely. So overall, I mean, these are all of the changes I would probably make to my Purple Telecaster if I had the chance to do it. You know, I'm never going to take a saw to anything like that, but I just thought it's 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 difficult to create something uh, that was perfect when it was first created in 1950 or whenever it was. Um, but putting your personalized thing on it is is what I've done here, what we've done here, and I think it's turned out really well because it is difficult to create something new these days, you know. But this. I love everything about it and it turned out super, super, super well and um, really proud of it and the guys have done an amazing job. So, And also, this one is made in the UK, made and built in the UK, so it's, uh, you know, that's another little, and they're all different, all handmade, pickups all hand-wired, hand-soldered, uh, fantastic fret jobs on here, uh, 65 or 5 frets if I didn't mention that. So. Just overall a beautiful guitar. It is really the details that matter, and stuff like the, if you, if you can, I don't know if you can see the back of the, the neck here, how I said, can we please have that sort of, that carved in so it fits a little bit nice in the hands. It's just little things like that that has gone from, you know, that it's back and forth my, so many times. And I, I, hopefully I haven't been too, too much of a pain in the ass to work with, because I do believe when you do a, 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 a signature product, it's one thing, you know, I didn't want it to be called a Danish Peak guitar. I just, I, I wanted something that was, that I can stand for and say, this is amazing and I would use this product, which is really important. And if, if it's not right, you, you don't stop till it's right. So that was one of the really, really important things to get everything right. So I know that I would absolutely use that guitar. I do believe when you make uh, a sickness of products, you know, um, for me, it's not about having your name on the guitar, so you won't see Peter Honoré or Danish Pete on this guitar anywhere, because I would like people to like the guitar because they like the guitar, not because they like me necessarily. Uh, and that's really important, like I do with the Dane, the Thorby pedal. It's, no, it's not my name on it anywhere, just nobody, you don't need to know me to like and love the guitar, right? Uh, but we had so many little changes we did over, over the time. So for instance here, the back of the headstock, um, which I thought it would be nice to have something a little bit more rounded and feel. So that went back and forth, we had that done. Um, so this is prototype two, I believe. So you can see the, um, the, the way the neck is sort of in, lined in with the body here. I wanted that not like, um, for instance, if you look at ML3 here, where you've got a little different carve here. I mean, it's just little details like that all the time that I thought, can we do this, can we do that, can we do that? And I, I hope I haven't been too much of a pain in the neck, uh, <laughs> in that process, you know, where the strap button is and where the, the just little bits of pieces having these things um, recessed in the body and also just this little bit rounded here and also the little rounded corners on it. And it was just, and once you get into all these little details, it's, you know, um, so, so when you finally get the product, uh, you're like, yes, there it is, I'm happy now click the go button, you know. So um, it's been an amazing process and I hope you guys will love them out there. So there we are. And another thing that was really um, cool with this whole process, it's taken quite a while now, you know, it's taken a year plus that, you know, to, to come to, to, to finally from prototype to prototype and now to the final product, uh, was picking the colors. And um, I've always loved old Porsche colors and old car colors, so old Volvo colors and that. And these all comes from sort of, um, colors that literally have been a car color at some point. So you got this color here, for instance, a bluey color and a green color. You can just, if you, if you go out and look vintage 911s, you'll see them in these colors. Uh, and then of course you got the, uh, the classic sort of fall color, uh, pumpkin, yellow spice, mustard, uh, Bahama yellow thing here. And you'll also see Porsches in these colors and they look fantastic. Um, and all the scratch plate as well is all Bakelite, so it's proper old-fashioned um, stuff on here. And they all just feel amazing. Look at those necks on these guitars. What? They're going out to some lucky players out there and um, enrich their lives with good tone. Yeah, you're looking around here and going, these are the three colors, these are the first run, so these are the first UK uh, run of the guitars, and there isn't the purple one. And um, I think the 
I love the purple stuff. I love the purple Telecaster. It's such a such a unique color, and it's the story is amazing. I just thought that it was kind of time to see if we could move on to something that hadn't been done before, you know, because everything out there is purple at the moment. It's not a bad thing. I still love purple, uh, but I just wanted to create something that looked a different way because I've seen so many purple T-Star guitars recently that I thought we the world needs something different. And I thought this whole thing with the, with the, with the uh, old car colors, I mean, John Mayer did his, uh, he took his first colors from the Teslas. So, you know, it's not that it hasn't been done before. Uh, but then again, Fender took their colors from the old vintage cars as well in back in the day. So I just, I just thought these colors are really cool and it's really nice to be able to, 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 to make up new colors and new looking guitars. So who knows, maybe there will be a purple limited run at some point, but you know, right now, these are the colors you get. So there we are. <laughs>